And you were nominated for a few awards, right? <clears throat> Canadian Smooth Jazz Awards? Yeah, we're yeah. nominated as a, I was nominated for Best New Vocalist, uh, Best Female Vocalist, and Best New Song for Precious Love. That yeah. was great. Uh, how did you feel, what was the first song you actually heard on the radio that was yours? And uh, it was <laughs> Hillside, actually. It was the way it was playing Hillside. Yeah. Um, that Where was were the you first. When I was just leaving my house. I was leaving my house. It was a really cold day, all bundled up, turning on the radio. And I said, you know what, let's turn it on 94 and see if they're playing the song. And <laughs> then there you go. Oh my God, it's not, the, it's not the CD. It's not like me analyzing mixes. It's yeah. actually on the radio. Wow. So that must have been a very special yeah. moment. That's the first time I heard one of my songs that I wrote on yeah. the radio. That's <laughs> That's crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about Play It Forward that you're, yeah. that you're involved with. <clears throat> Play It Forward is a concept that I created based on, we touched on it, based on my experience in the concert band in high school. I played yeah. trumpet in the concert band. Yeah. And um, my music teacher had such a passion that he really communicated to the kids around him. Mm -hmm. um, he really rallied everybody together in a common goal and we just he would put together huge shows and that made a huge impression on me as a as a young person just not even as a musician just as an individual being a part of this project mm -hmm. was so important in my life yeah. i feel like it was almost the cornerstone of who I am almost, yeah. like, not who I am, but is very yeah. important part of my life. They gave me a lot of strength, a lot of self-confidence. And so based on that, I decided to create this concept called Play It Forward, where it was triggered by the fact that there's less and less funding being put towards these kinds of programs in school. And I really believe that they're very, very important. So we wanted to raise money for these, for these schools. So what we do is in every city that we travel to, we find a local concert band, mm -hmm. uh, local school with a concert band, local yeah. choir. Mm -hmm. um, it may be a string orchestra, it may be a drum line, mm -hmm. uh, anything that's got anything to do with music, depending on the city, yeah. depending on what is available there. Yeah. This is the, the people we hook up with, put together the show. So yeah. they come and join us on the stage. It's amazing. And um, creates this really magical night because the kids are so happy to be there. They give us so much energy and so much, uh, uh, it's a trip, you know, to have 150 people up on a stage yeah. singing and playing and it's a real treat. It's, it's really fun and then all the proceeds go back to the schools that are involved. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. yeah. Thank you really for happy doing with it. <laughs> well, and we're, we're, in, and we're in the incubator of it and um, more and more we go. We're doing two in Montreal. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> in um, December and February mm -hmm. uh, in Montreal and then we're going to be nice. coming back to Toronto, Ontario and hopefully growing to all over Canada and yeah. the States and <laughs> Europe <laughs> the and world. the world. <laughs> why not? <clears throat> I don't see why not. <laughs> we're the ones that put our own limits, right? Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so are you working on a new CD now? I am. Okay. I am. What can you tell us about that? Oh, what can I tell you? <laughs> I feel like I'm... Um, giving birth all over again. I'm just <laughs> writing. Um, I'm, I'm writing songs. I'm collaborating a lot, uh, trying to fine tune the sound and, and just uh, seeing where this next record's going to take me musically. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you know, we think that we give birth to it, but maybe it gives birth to us, you know, because I think that that yeah. whole process is, it's a real process. If you really give it time and you give it the energy that mm -hmm. it deserves, it'll really take you on a, on a trip. Well, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think your greatest life lesson has been? It's something that my singing teacher used to tell me a lot, and I don't think it sunk in until very recently. She used to say, you can't pull on a flower for it to grow, you know? Yeah. Everything needs time. Right. It 
you, you can't make it go faster, you know? You only become better by being patient and nurturing and, and forgiving of yourself and mm -hmm. giving yourself time, yeah. you know? And so I feel like by doing that, I've, that's my biggest life lesson because I just need to continue watering my plant for it to keep growing. That's good advice. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Stir Magazine deals with the art of living. <clears throat> okay. So how would you define the art of living? The art of living, the first thing that comes to mind is one step at a time. And today, tomorrow comes tomorrow. And mm -hmm. today, you got to live it like it was your last. Sounds like such a cliche sentence, but if you really think about that and really live that way, mm -hmm. I think that you really win. Yeah. Now, are you touring right now, or you're just playing selected cities? Or? We, we just came back from a European tour, oh, so we went wow. to France for the first time and did a nice. uh, sh showcases there, and we did a showcase in London as well. So that was very exciting. Yeah. And um, I think over the period of the holidays, we're going to be taking a a step back and and just focusing on the new record mm -hmm. and uh, be planning out more shows for um, March and April and May probably predominantly the play it forward yeah. but until the next record comes out yeah great well it was great talking to great you. talking to you too and thanks thank you very so much, much. <laughs>